Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I explain the letter dad in some videos uh, in details with pictures and uh, videos uh, and a lot of details. Uh, but here is a quick uh, short video for those who still have an issue with the letter dad. And make sure you watch the full video if you have not. And this is a quick a uh, practical video inshallah to help you pronounce it correctly so the dad as we mentioned before we're gonna touch the upper gum with the edges of our tongue okay some people do like certain movements they uh, do certain movements with their tongues that that are uh, not right all what you need to do you're gonna touch the upper gum with the edges of your tongue that's the first step so like this. So the edges of the tongue are these. Okay, these are the edges. Okay, we're not going to touch the, uh, the whole tongue. We're not going to touch, for example, this to the roof. No, only the edges. Okay, these are the edges. You're gonna touch them with where? Not with the uh, teeth. Not like uh, you're not gonna bite on your on the edge of your tongue at all. What you're gonna do? You're gonna touch the gum with the edges, like this. Ab, 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 ab. So you see the teeth are closed, huh? Huh? Ab, ab, huh? Ab, 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 ab. Now that's the first step. If you're doing anything other than this, you know you're doing it wrong. So that's the first step, okay? Second step, which is the most important to make the dot sound is, you're gonna make a pressure, pressure on the far edges of the tongue. What are the far edges? This is not the far edge. This is not the far edge. What is the far edge then? This. This is the far edge of the tongue. So you're gonna press hard and make pressure on this part using this part of the tongue or this edge of the tongue against the same place. Same thing here from the left side. You can use the right, you can make the pressure on the right one, the right side using the, the far uh, the right far edge or the left far edge or both use anyone you like anyone you works with you is great either the right or the left or both you try try whichever is easier for you do it and that's great so again we're touching the roof of the mouth particularly the gum all of the upper gums all of the upper gums we're touching them with all of the edges of the tongue like this. And we're making the pressure there on the far edges. On the far edges here. Either right or left or both. Make the pressure on the, against the, the roof or the gum that are opposite to those far edges. Like this. Um, um. Now you, what's, what's going on now? When we closed the, when we touched all of the gums with all of the edges of the tongue, what happened? Now there's like a space in the middle, right? It's like this. So like, now you're like blowing, okay? And so the air is imprisoned between the tongue and the roof. It's not like this. It's not like this. No, it's like this. Tamam? It's like this. It's not like this. It's like this. Tamam? And because of that 
pressure or because of that air that's in present between the roof and the tongue, the tongue moves slightly inward like this, slightly inward, slightly inward. That's called the istitala, and that will result in rakhawa of the latter. Means the blood will flow a little bit. Okay, like this. Al, 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 da, 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 du, di, da, du, di. Fadlu, fadlu, and don't press too hard. Don't press too hard on the gums. Make them a little bit flexible so that uh, the tongue will move. Easily, but if you press too hard, then the tongue will not move. You say, up, up. No, make it flexible. Don't press hard. Okay. So we're gonna say, فَضْلُ أَضَّ أَضَّ ضُن ضِن ضَن ضُن ضِن ضَن ضَ 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 ضُ You don't need to blow, you don't need to like No, it's just like this أَضُ 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 ضَ 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 ضُ ضُ ضِ ضِ I hope this was helpful. Uh, so make sure you do the right steps, the right movements, and keep practicing, keep practicing. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not overburden you uh, more than what you can bear. As long as you tried, uh, you're fine, inshallah. Uh, if you like to make sure that you're pronouncing it correctly, uh, join the uh, Maher Club next to the subscribe button. Join, uh, click join, and see uh, the video about joining the Maher Club. Uh, where you can you can get inshallah uh, at least five minutes every month so that I can see you and I can make sure you're pronouncing it correctly and you you're reading also the Holy Quran uh, correctly uh, as always don't forget to subscribe if you have not and always share the khair